Hello everyone, this is Kat, and I have gotten some mail in, and I'll show you the reason why. One set of my bowls that I made. See the bottoms? Now this one's pretty gross anyway. But yeah, gotta fix that. Oh, blooper. I can't get these cats to do anything. Anyway. Okay, see this is the inside of the bowl. Turned out lovely. John's Cash Blue. Okay, on the bottom is Al's Winter White. Al's Cash Blue. Um, not Al's Cash Blue. John's Cash Blue. Um, licorice. I believe those were the colors I used on there. And then this is... Al's Rutile with speckled, all kinds of stuff. But this bowl had a lot of flaws, has a little crack here. Ah! Sorry about that, made y'all sick. Bowl has a little crack inside. Had a bunch of nasty glazing, but still, I can throw stuff in it. But, gotta fix that. What's the best way to fix it? I don't want it scratching everything and cutting this. Especially this one. It was a beautiful bowl on the top. I got, if I can get caramel off the box, something from Diamond Core. Diamond Core, so, Let's see. Well, it's a struggle. Okay. Pausing. Okay, back. I just had to cut one little bitty piece of tape on the caramel. Do you mind? It's not going to be your food bowl. So, here's what I got. I got a trimming tool, which I'm sure is going to magically, magically, magically make my trimming better. It's going to be amazing. And I got a diamond core bat. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at sparkle and shine. What girl doesn't want diamonds, right? Look at that. I will see tomorrow how, how that works. I just got the 60 grit because that's what they had. They didn't have the 120. And these are pretty... Um, yeah, they're pretty messed up, so hopefully with the 60 grit, I'll use it wet, and so I'll do a wet grinding on my wheel for the bottoms to get clean. We'll see the, see how that works. Then, oh, kitty fights. <sighs> blooper. Look at this, blooper, blooper, blooper. Okay. I don't even know what to say about all this. About to go into work. Just beat down. Okay, so then I'd ordered a part from my kiln that I cracked. These came, both these came. I, this one came from Clay King. That came from Lime Core. Both came really, really fast. Um, this wasn't even supposed to be here till Saturday. And so guess what? Today is... I don't even know. Thursday? Today's Thursday. I got self-supporting pyrometric cones for my bisque firing because I ran out. I do an 04 bisque firing. I am being so hopeful that my new kiln will do the most amazing temperature control. I think I might cry if it doesn't. Um, yeah, like I said, I got an 04, so... I'd ran out of my bisque firing cones and decided to go with those. I thought, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with the thing. Okay, and so I got a little handle extruder. It was only a couple of dollars. Thought I'd try it out before I tried getting a big diamond core. Big boy. And then here's the little plate that... 
that I broke. And so hopefully that fixes that. And also one of these bolts that was on here was stripped out. Blooper. Okay. He's getting angry. Blooper. Look. Shame. They're fighting over a box. They both want the diamond core box. They're, they're here. This is a good inside box. Let's go to this. There you go, Carmel. That's a good box for you. Let Blooper have the diamond core. Anyway, how I get anything done? Who knows? So, a little tool for making handles and my ceramic plate to fix that had cracked on the new to me kiln. And now I've got this diamond core bat to fix my bowls. We'll see how it works. Thanks everybody. Bye.